everybody. Glad you're with us. And well, as the interleague action for you this afternoon, it's the New York Yankees taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set. And today's starter, Clayton Kershaw. What do you got on him, Chris? Yeah, Boog, when you're a teammate of a guy like this, you love when it's his turn to pitch. He's out there on the mound carrying him. with a ton of confidence that gives other guys bits that hey the other team's not going to score much all we've got to do is have good at bats put up some runs and we should be able to get a win he's got some of the best stuff around the league so if he's on he has the ability to control the game and guys aren't really going to get much to hit here comes Aaron Judge And Judge spoils that one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. No score just getting started top of the first. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's out number two. A oh, pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And a foul ball. But we all know about Anthony Rizzo's skill set on the field multiple times at All-Star. Multiple times he's won the Gold Glove. He even won the National League Platinum Glove. But also a guy who won the 2017 Roberto Clemente Award for his work off the field. Ripped on the ground a second. Throw on to Freeman. Rizzo out of the play. That ends the frame. We're midway in inning number one. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, and our pitcher in this game, Garrett Cole. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that... I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And first offering is fouled off. And strike two. When Cole's brother-in-law, Brandon Crawford, took him deep, Cole signed a pair of spikes for Brandon Crawford, one that said adios pelota and the other one that said out of here. Yeah, calls by the great John Miller and Dwayne Kuyper of the San Francisco Giants. He makes the grab, and there's one down. That is second. The first baseman, Freddie. Freddie Freeman up Freeman. to the dish. That one hammered center field back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Next offering is foul back. 
And Boog, hitters can be a little less aggressive on hard stuff in early in the season just because of how cold it is and, and not wanting to get a stinger. Now, you think, oh, it's just a jam, it's shot, it's a broken bat, but sometimes guys get deep thumb bruises that can linger for a while. So, you know, you just want to avoid that if you can, that but cool. at the end of an at-bat, you're Hickman. just trying to battle no Man. matter what. Muncy. Here comes Max Muncy. Strike one. The guy that I've encountered that hates the cold weather the most, Mookie Betts. I mean, he grew up in Tennessee, so it's not exactly like balmy there. I mean, it gets a little chilly in Tennessee, but under 60 degrees, he will wear two sets batting gloves, one on top of the other, and sometimes he'll wear not one set of thermals, but two sets of long johns over top one another. Smith off the of first with two away. Hot shot to first base. He snags it to end the inning. So the Dodgers leave one scoreless after one. here at Dodger Stadium and now it's John Carlos Stanton and he deals ball one no strikes Kershaw fires that one missing inside. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. The wind of the pitch. Popped up. Freeman pulls it in for the out. One down. That is it. The second baseman, Glaber Torres. Here's Glaber Torres. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kershaw, a former MVP, he features a slider, a four seamer, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Second inning here, no score. Next offering, foul back. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Peralta makes the grab. Two down. Just pull off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority hey. instead of a fly out to left. Josh Donaldson in the box. No balls and a strike. Into center. Outman makes the grab on the run. Yanks held back here at Chavez Ravine. And now here is J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez. Garrett Cole, Chris, a guy who was the first overall pick out of UCLA in 2011, and he's turned into one of the best starters in baseball. Yeah, it's pretty cool how things came full circle for him. Drafted by the Yankees out of high school, didn't sign, as you said, went to UCLA, and now pitching the number one guy in the rotation for New York. Bounce to third. Donaldson tosses to first in time. And Martinez is, is out. It. No left fielder. David Peralta at the plate. And he married another UCLA player's sister, Brandon Crawford. He's married to Brandon's sister, Amy. That's towards center. And that'll fall for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. 
batting seven. The second baseman. Man at first with one gone. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Vargas. That's out to center field. Judge has it sized up. He makes the kick, and there's two down. Batting in, the center fielder, James Outman. James Outman steps to the plate for Jers. This guy with light tower power. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. One left for L.A. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in L.A. On to the third inning, and stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks. Kershaw back to work. This has always been the better side for Aaron Higgs. Here comes a pitch. That's inside. And the count is one and one. On the ground, right side. The throw to first. And a quick out, number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Jose Trevino, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Trevino goes 5 feet, 11 inches, 30 years old now. And he won a gold glove in 2022. And first offering off. That's inside. inside ball one. Go back to New York. Next pitch inside. inside. Ball two. Fought off foul. Top of the third. No score. Next offering is fouled back. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your that glove side across the, the strike point. zone, especially Anthony. with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And the lefty with the 0-1. That one missed. And it is 2-1. and one. And a swing and a miss there. and miss struck him out and good work there as he gets a one two three so the Yanks go in order still no score welcome back stepping in the long ball threat Miguel Rojas shortstop this is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bond. On a line, base hit. So now back to the top of the order. 
Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now it's Mookie Betts. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ripped into left center for a base hit. Betts into second. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. 0 for 1 so far. And that one is lifted in the air. And Freeman is retired. And there's one away. Now batting. The catcher. Well. The batter now will be Smith. And he's already singled in this game. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Calls it in, two away. Throw behind the runner, they've got him doubled off. Nothing across, up two hits, no errors, and one man left. Three innings complete, we're tied, nothing, nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, DJ LeMayhew. That's to third, it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And hardly order coming up right behind him. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Rizzo in the box now. Take strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Next offering is fouled back. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. This one lifted in the air, left field. Two down. The batter, the right fielder, Giancarlo. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. He's 0 for 1. Giancarlo Stanton, who won the National League MVP in 2017 and then was traded immediately to the New York Yankees. Yeah, the last two players to win the MVP and then be traded were both traded to the New York Yankees. Alex Rodriguez, Giancarlo Stanton. The pitch. Slides, but it gets by him. And that moves the go-ahead run to scoring position with two gone. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Here's the 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. LeMayhew on second. Stan at first, two out of the inning. Pitch misses there, and it's one and two. Next offering is foul back. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Outman puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Max Muncy. 
Swing and a miss. Strike one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Next offering is foul back. You know, these Dodgers definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over aggressive. The numbers tell us they're swinging at the first pitch more than 90% of the time, and that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results, Boo. JD swinging a drive deep left field, and it's off the wall. The relay throw. In there, just beat the tag. It's a double. Everything came together for him. A well deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. And now it's going to be David Peralta in the air out towards left center. Hicks makes the catch for the second out. Ground ball left side. Throw on to Rizzo. That ends the inning. So the Dodgers leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. And it's one and one. One ball, one strike. Next offering is foul back. And a one two. And down on strikes he goes. And the leadoff hitter in the fifth. Well, Brogue, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it. And clearly, he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Here's Aaron Hicks. And it's fouled away. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. One ball, one strike. Straighten him up a little bit. Ah. Clips the corner. Now one and two. One ball. Way inside gets out of the way. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. In there and it's 0-1. Next pitch has popped up. Rojas brings it in for the third out. One, two, three, go the Yankees. And we are still scoreless. Bottom of the inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. And the pitch. And that one pulled foul. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. He made him pay for that one, and they lead it. It's 1-0. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. A 
good hitter gets pitch recognition early, he saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Miguel Rojas at the plate. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And he's got a double. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Betts, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Mookie Betts blasts one out, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. That's in there. That's strike one. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Left hand batter waits. Liner caught it second. Now batting, sure. Will. And up to the plate is Will Smith. One for two. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. And now it's Max Muncy. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And that one wrapped foul. You'll one. Liner, base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Couple of singles back to back. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Judge makes the grab on the run. Volpe, relay to third, save, just ahead of the tag. Now batting, left fielder, J.J. And next for L.A., David Peralta. Out towards right center field, Judge is under it. That is the inning. Mookie Betts with the big strike in the inning. It's now 3-0. Major League Back here at Dodger Stadium. Start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Anthony Volpe. First pitch, just misses. The Yankees looking to rally. Ripped to short. Tosses to first. Now one gone in the top of the six. A couple of pitches and a quick out. LeMayhew in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing take. Good fastball, excellent slider, 
but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Muncie calls it in, and there's two away. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Look, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Man, at first, Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. In the air, center field. He'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers get a shutout on the mound. This is just a nice win. Three-nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three run that you score, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching. Timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one. Three-nothing. Our final score. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Here now is our final.